Hey, what's up guys? It's Joe Slam back with another video and with the increase of Brawl Stars, the popularity coming back to Brawl Stars, we need to show you guys the best ways on how to max out your account free to play. Brawl Stars is one of the best free to play, you know, games out there in my opinion. I'm going to show you the best tips and tricks how to max out your account without spending a single dollar. With that being said, if you guys like the video, like, share, subscribe, and let's hop straight into it, Slam Squad. All right, starting off with the first best thing to max out your account as a free to play is pushing the brawl pass. You know, it has the free to play side in the brawl pass and it gives off very, very, very good rewards. And it's always consistent. You get it every season, every new season. Wait, what is this gameplay? I got an AFK Leon I'm going up against. But besides that, the brawl pass just gives you very great rewards, even if it's free to play, even if you don't get the brawl pass plus. It's the most consistent way to earn rewards, earn the coins, earn credits, to unlock new brawlers, to upgrade your brawlers, to progress in the game just so much. It's just the best thing for you to do. Oh, that Rico boy, that Rico, that Rico. I feel like Brawl Pass, is, um, the Brawl Pass as a whole, is very free to play friendly. You, you see how if you don't want to spend gems or if you don't, I mean money, cause it's, it's money now, right? If you don't want to spend money, that's literally totally fine. With the Brawl Pass, it literally helps you. And you get your daily rewards, grinding your daily rewards. It's just consistency. Brawl Pass, um... Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. But, um, Brawl Stars is introducing just such consistency with getting rewards even if you don't spend money on the game, which you don't see in a lot of games like Brawl Stars. I mean, it, you don't see in a lot of games like around here. Oh my gosh, bro, I'm getting jumped. I'm getting jumped. The gameplay is bad. Outside of the gameplay, grind the brawl pass, grind the um, grind your daily rewards because those come in every single day. The brawl pass after you finish up the brawl pass, you literally have free, free star drops you could get any time of the day, and they literally can't stop me. I have too much health. Frank has too much health. I'm gonna try to get a hypercharge play. Um. Yeah. Yep. Maybe if I hit my shots. Okay. I'm pretty sure they nerfed him, so I was just testing him, but he doesn't even seem like he's nerfed, to be honest. Must be rough. Yep. Make a play. Get a nice kill. But how do I even hit this dude, bro? It's so annoying. Oh, I go down, but hopefully my randoms could help me out. Nice kill by my, um,. He's a El Primo Fang, you see his name. But yeah, grinding the Brawl Pass. After you finish the Brawl Pass, you even have free star drops to always grind for. And it's a free easy wins. And I'm about to show you the most important, most important for you to push, for you to play, so for you to max out your account. And that is single-handedly your mastery. Grinding the mastery there's new brawlers coming every single update and with new brawlers it comes literally new rewards free rewards all it asks you to do is to play the game and you know gets a couple wins and every so wins if you see in bronze you could get a thousand you could get 750 to a thousand coins just for grinding a brawler to bronze one which is just a couple of games a couple of nice wins and there you go, a thousand coins just right like that. That is so much free progression with 80 brawlers. You're looking at 80,000 gold. And that's not even to say if you're really a grinder and push up to silver too. That's almost like 200,000 gold, like in total, like you're getting for it's way, way more. Plus, on top of that, credits to unlock new brawlers. Plus, on top of that, you know, the um, the upgrades for the brawlers, like the power points to upgrade your brawlers. It's just provides so much value let's hop into some more tips for you to get all the money all the credits all the gold everything to max out your account the next most important thing is picking the right gadgets star powers and gears for each brawler you know you maxing out a brawler doesn't mean buying all their star powers buying all their gadgets buying all their gears you feel me the best thing to do is to buy their best build so you want to look at what is their best build either research it on youtube there's a lot of people a lot of guides on brawlers what the best build is for brawlers finding the best build and just simply um upgrading that you know for look at lily by far her probably the best gadget in the game is her invis 
her realm gadget where she could go back in the shadow realm. You do not need her next, her other gadget. Her star power, uh, and there's brawlers with amazing star powers that just provide a different value that the other, the second star power will never bring. Take for instance Draco, his um gadget which allows him to have that one extra life basically. His other gadget is just non-existent, so it's no use. It's no use spending like a thousand on it. No, 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 no. Oh, I think we're gonna lose. Oh my god, we're gonna lose. Oh my god, we'll lose. No, we lost. But just figuring out their brawler builds, the best brawler builds for you. Like, let me let me take for instance a brawler, a really really good brawler like Melody. You know her. For me, you know, I got I got the money, so you know I could buy, you know, I could max my brawlers out. But for the free to play people, you know, getting her extended mix is not really the best because Melody Fast Beats gives her six percent increased movement speed, and it's just by far the better star power. So it's just buying the dominant star power, buying the dominant gears, buying the dominant um gadgets. So you don't have to waste excess money, excess resources on all your brawlers 80 plus brawlers you're gonna go broke you're not gonna have anything to save up and now let's hop straight into the last but very very underrated way of earning in brawl stars yes you got it right it is ranked by far very underrated way to earn resources in brawl stars do you want to know why because if you're just an average player let's say an average player could go up to like what mythic let's say mythic 3 right in um the average player could get up to mythic 3 mythic 2 look at what you're getting aside from the rank drops you know who gives you different skins and different accessories that you don't have to pay for at all Look at the epic star drop, a mythic star drop, two mythic stars, a legendary drop, and another legendary drop. These drops are giving you great, great value. Like, it's either giving you a new brawler, or it's giving you 500 credits where you could buy a new brawler, or it's giving you a lot of gold, or it's giving you a lot of resources. And if you're a new and free-to-play player, that's what you're going to need. We're going to hop straight into a Masters game after all that waffling and show some straight-up domination slam squad. And hopefully you guys like the video, and let's hop straight into the Masters game. All right, hopping straight into our Masters rank game. We're looking like we're going to take a beating because they got the Rico pick, and we have no one to open up the walls bad draft by us we're probably gonna get whooped for it but we're gonna try our best to win slam squad this is what we're gonna do you know um hopefully you know you guys like the um, new kind of videos that i'm doing and with that being said let's hop straight into this masters ranked game you know i'm top 400 in the world it's pretty it's been pretty nice you know um all right let's do it let's make a play um i don't understand why we first picked surge like oh my lord but you know what i'm not complaining bro one teammate already down. My another teammate is gonna go down too. I already knew it. I already knew it. Slam squad. This ain't nothing new. This is not nothing new. All right, I managed to get a um. Hopefully, my teammate could help. It's just. It's, please use your super. Nope. Okay. We could have got rid of that me um that Meg, but now, please use your super to level up. Please, my friend. Please. What is my search doing? Like, oh, I'm actually very, very confused on what this surge is doing, but never mind that. Never mind that. Um, bro, what is this surge doing? When are you going to try to level up yourself, brother? Oh, when you're going to die. Okay, um, great. Um, nice. That had to be the worst jump I've ever seen in my life. That, and he first picked, you know, he first picked the surge. Did you know, Slam Squad, that he first picked the surge? Like, did you know that was what he was trying to do? Did you know that? Did you really know that? Like, man to man, did you know that? You know? Um, all right, we have this side unlocked. Our surge first picking it is gonna cost us. We're, we're gonna, it's gonna be very, very, very rough to win. No. Yes, yes, yes. Got some nice value. All right, we got a nice kill. We're heading over on the other side. Hopefully, make a commotion. Nice. We're on the other side, bro. Surge sadly dies. Oh. My BB Mr. Swing could be very detrimental, and it is rough, rough, rough. My Surge, been the best teammate ever, you know? Now I have to go on this side to definitely help out, or we're just gonna lose, and there's nothing I could do. I can't pass that Rico. My Surge, look at him go. Just the best player in the world, you know? And we're gonna take this out, so I don't know how we're gonna manage to win this. 
Maybe I should have picked a wall breaker, but then again, don't first pick Surge when, you know, they have the Rico pick, you're just not gonna upgrade and you're just not gonna do anything. You're just gonna sit around and die, get a few upgrades here and there. Rough to see, rough to see Slam Squad. All right, we're in the next round. Smartest, smartest random there is, you know? Um, yeah. Oh, Lord. He's already down. I'm getting just folded like, oh my, yep. There's nothing I could do either. Okay, finally we have positioning on the left side. So this is actually very, 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 very clutch. I don't even care about, I don't even care about the right side. They could have the right side. The left side was the problem because the Rico had the left side on lock. Nice, 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 nice. Now we can actually make a play. Like we can actually make a play. Jesus, this mech is just gunning me down though, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You're maxed out level. Let's go search. Let's let's cook up something. Let's cook up something Search S Surge You just watch brother. I was fighting the buster. You could shoot him in the back. W what is going on here? This surge might have a brain of a peanut bro like nah, bro His brain is the size of a peanut what is he do? <laughs> to be fair, I'm not even cooking. We're just getting fried because it was a total out draft. We're just gonna take the L. Like that is the only. Oh my God! Look at my BB make a play. Look at that surge go. Look at that surge go. Clap it up for the surge. Um, let's just respectfully take the L. There's nothing we could have done. That is rough to see. Always rough to see the ultimate out draft. You know, two and nine surge. Love to see it. Give him his kudos. You know, GG's to him, you know, um, losing 116 ELO off that is very, very painful. But that's it for the video. Make sure you take down my tips to max out your account as best as possible. Sam's God, we are out.